Alright, let's start with how the map works. Basically, just to move around the map, all you gotta do is press the right mouse button and you can move around the map. And if you have a mouse wheel, you can just zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. When you uh, double click on a planet, it will automatically go to that planet. Doesn't matter where it is. And when you click on a planet, you will get a couple toolbars come up here that give you the information on that planet and what is in it. If you right click on the planet, you will actually have a little box that pops up that gives you all the different options that you can at this point do on that planet. Some of the options are like build a station, station manager, fleet manager, and defense manager. We'll get into some of those a little bit later. Let's move down to this little view here. If you click on that, you can change the views to provinces, which actually show you all the different provinces that you have in your game. You can change it to support range, which is actually what the range of all your ships can actually go in the game. And it's based off your uh, naval star bases. And you have sensor range, which is obviously sensors of the current systems you have on your ships and your bases and your planets. And based off technology that you already have. Default view is just normal view. Go right back to that. Up in the top right hand corner we have a picture of your avatar and your actual uh, sign that you chose in the options menu. This is your Empire Manager. If you click on that, you actually go to the list of all, basically your Empire Manager that gives you all your research, security, stimulus, expenses, basically your expense reports. Uh, you can set your tax rate and your immigration rate. Uh, you can change your government in here and it actually show you who your enemies are or your other, all the AI opponents. Just hit the back key to get out of this you'll go back to the main screen. Under, right next to this, is a toolbar that says is basically your treasury and your spending account. You can change this in the Empire Manager or you can actually change it right here with the little slider bar. And basically what this does is that you can put more money into what your government is spending on uh, building things or you can slide it the other way to actually, to actually spend on more money on research. Down here in the lower right hand corner is your message log. So every time you press a new turn, you'll have messages in there like ships are being built or if you had a battle or if you lost a colony. Down here is actually the menu where you can go back to the main menu, save the game or resume the game. Obviously options are still not available in this per particular build and might be changed later on I hope. Back down to here you have your turn count. Right now I'm on turn 30 from this particular game. And you have your end turn button. If you push that end turn button it will go to the next game. Up top we have all these seven little buttons up here. The first one is your research. The second one is for designing your ships. The third one is for diplomacy. The fourth one is station manager. The fifth one is to actually show all your colonies that you have. The sixth one is to actually put you into province mode. We won't get into that right now. And the last one is the encyclopedia. I'll go into it real quick to show you here. That's what it looks like. Just back out of it. Now let's check out the research screen to finish this part of the tutorial up. Basically, it's very similar to Sword of the Stars 1. You have all your research options here. To move around, to go to different selections, like right now I'm in energy weapons, there's two little arrows on each side. If you choose the left side, you'll go left. If you choose the right side, you'll go right. And you'll have a list of all... And this will give you a list of all your research options that you have. Now, when you start the game, you are pre-selected to ha automatically have a few research objects automatically be able to be able to research them. You will notice that there's two 
different types of options. You got the instant research item where I can go down here, click research, and my guys will research that. And you have something called study feasibility. Study feasibility means that you do not actually have a chance of researching this object. If I push study feasibility, it'll take anywhere from one to ten turns for your scientists to actually research if you have the ability to actually get this to actually be able to research this technology and basically this is a little different than what they did in the first game in the first game you just didn't have the option in this game it's more of a lottery thing where you can see if you can research it and actually be disappointed in the fact that you can't That's pretty much what I figured out so far and how that works so basically to research an item just push research project is fully staffed director and you will get the item you will be able to research it don't forget the little question mark here in most of your screens actually gives you a little bit of a breakdown of what everything does in the bar so if you have some problems you can that can be a quick reference for what you to do so thank you for watching this one see you next time